Now she helped turn our studio into her very own science lab last month. And despite causing all sorts of chaos, Dr Zoe Laughlin is back to introduce us to some more of her spectacular experiments. We're ready, not taking any chances here. So what are we doing today? I can't promise that your shoes... Oh, it's OK, you're not wearing suede today. No, I, I purposely am... put leathery ones on. Oh, right. you're in suede. Just, yeah, I'll tell you when to I wash take the them shoes. Off? No, you, well, actually, you might be more fleet of foot. Right. For take safety, them off. Okay, I think take your shoes off. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. That's the first experiment. Right, right. you're ready? Yes. You're ready? All good. OK, the first thing I want to show you is something that people can try at home. Right. This is quite a small-scale experiment, but it is magical. OK. This is a demonstration of a jumping flame. <gasps> wow. So we're going to extinguish the candle and then relight it, ignite it, but using the vaporised wax in the smoke. So I I'm, don't know what I'm means, explaining all like of this it. first because when I do it, if you talk, our breath will move the smoke and it won't work. So hang on. That was like <laughs> shut up. That was science. <laughs> shut up. Speak. Mm. Right. So I'm going to extinguish it, cut off the oxygen, relight the smoke, and watch what the flame does. So you okay? relight the fire, yeah. Relight. Mm. Here we go. Right. No speaking. <gasps> <gasps> oh, That's it's so like magic! Cool. Slow mo replay. Why does it do that? <laughs> so you've got wax in solid form in the candle, liquid in the puddle, but also vapor gas form in the smoke, and that wax is a fuel mixed with the oxygen. Do it again. Do it again. That... Oh, oh, I love it. I'm going to light candles like that all the time now. Birthdays, special, any, any time of candle. So be careful, but you can do that at home. Yeah. Well, We'll blow it out, blow out for now, because there's going to be other flammable things right. coming up. Okay. Right. Here, first and foremost, gloves for this one, gang. So, so like over there. Yeah, come on this side of me. Now, <laughs> there we had vaporised wax that's flammable. Mm -hmm. But other vapours can also be flammable. Right. And this one's going to look at the vapour of alcohol. Oh. So, you know Christmas puddings? Oh, yeah. yes. You've, yeah. Lit the, you've lit the, the alcohol around the Christmas pudding. Yeah. In these little jars, we yeah. all have... A very pure form of alcohol. Right. Okay? So no drinking. No, I don't. You don't need to tell me. <laughs> I wasn't going to. It's funny she looked at you. <laughs> Holly would probably ask for a little bit of salt down the rim of that. Yeah, there's not very much there. Just a <laughs> tiny shot. I, I want us to just pour it straight into the bottle. What now? Straight in. Yeah. Right. And we'll put the, put the little jar down there so that's nicely out of the way. Okay. Okay. In fact, I'm going to put glasses on yeah, for this you... one. So what we've got this. It's very volatile, so it easily evaporates. Yeah. No, no, hang on. Matches no, no, down. No, no. Matches no, down. No. <laughs> Firstly, we want to create lots of vapour. So pick up your bottle and give it a bit of a twirl. In fact, put your hand on the end and you can give it a bit of a shake and a mix up. Try and really coat the walls of your bottle with that alcohol. All right. So, in fact, if you get a little sniff, it's <laughs> not too deep. Wow, yeah, lovely. <laughs> That's a good vintage. <laughs> so, we're creating lots of nice fumes. Yeah. yeah that are now mixed with the oxygen in the air. Right, mm -hmm. gloves off, cos they'll have now flammable liquid oh, on them. This is confusing and complicated. <laughs> gloves on, gloves off. Right, okay. how are you with matches? Great. I can make them work. Yeah? So this <laughs> is... Get me out of here, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is a simultaneous... Yeah. Strike them and then we'll let the match... Let the flame take hold, OK? So strike. So where are you putting it? Just hold it with you. Yeah. Let it take hold of it. Yeah. And then dim the lights, here we go. We're going one, two, three, and drop it into the hole in the bottle. Yeah. And, and then run. Just yeah. stand. You're going to hurry up, no, it's going to burn go, your finger. Go. Oh, no, I missed! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, oh you missed! I missed. Well, that's we OK. We wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to have another go, because this is good. I can show you something else that this will do. So I will ignite the fumes. Let yeah. it take, let it take. Let it take. Let it take, let it take. Right. Oh. Did you see it? it yeah. Out. Yeah, like a chimney. Oh. Now, can ah. you... So this air inside is now cooling down and there's now less air in here than there is out in the world. So the atmospheric pressure, the pressure of the universe, yeah. is now crushing this bottle. That's very cool. So so I'll take my hand away. <laughs> Whoa! It will rush back in. That made me jump. That was really good. <laughs> so there we've okay. ignited some more fumes. One, mi okay, one, one minute, minute, minute until you do your one. final okay. one, OK? This one, if you come this side of me, Holly, I want you down the bubble end. I'm coming up the taps end, Phil. Right. Right, go. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop that into there. In here, we've got um, another flammable gas, propane, but you've got lots of flammable gases at home, like on your cooker and things. Yeah. That's 97% methane, which is what we produce when we fart, what cows produce when they fart. I do not. Affects, <laughs> <laughs> affects 
the, um, uh, the greenhouse effect. Yours is rose gas. <laughs> well, methane is, a, is also very combustible. So I'm going to show you how to hold fire in your hand. Yeah. Right. Let's brace ourselves. You're on the yeah. flame. I'm going to scoop up. Yeah. I'm not doing this. You can have a... If you want to do it again, you can have a go. Oh, I'm going to scoop that there. one. Go on. oh, God. I'll just watch. Do right. I like, do light. I light your hand on fire? Light You're me. not going to do that. <laughs> Oh, I love that. Go on. Oh, does that not hurt? No. Can I, can I, can I, can I you do can. it? You haven't got time. You can be quick. You can, we've got time. Three, we can do it, we can do it. Two. Your fault if this doesn't work now. We'll be fine. We she can just... you needed a minute thirty. It's fine. <laughs> We're professionals. Go for it. Right, okay. if you want to scoop I it up... Hold... Can I hold it? Apparently Don't I'm not hold allowed. it over the... the Am I allowed to do this? Yeah. Go on, then. Oh, my goodness. Right, one of you at a time. Ah! Okay. <laughs> it was fine. It was fine. It was and fine. then we'll just finish off by oh! just lighting... We'll just light it up the floor. Oh, what were you, go. Go. you expecting? Can there I have a go? go? What were you expecting? I know, I know, but it's exciting. <laughs> right, 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 right. Right. right, we're going to cool it all down now. Holly, this side of me. Cool it all down. Yep. This liquid is minus 196 degrees Celsius. This is liquid nitrogen. Yeah. So we've had the fire, now the ice. To prove the coldness, Holly, do you want to just grab this rose? Yeah. Just dip it in there and let it... Just push oh. it. It's going to freeze. When it stops bubbling, I want you to just smash it on the floor. So the, I take it the moisture now? in the petals... Yep. Yeah, whack it on the floor. No way! <laughs> what happened to that? So it was frozen solid. So they're That's amazing. little shards of frozen rose petals. How cool is One that? One minute to go. Oh, my goodness. Well, we've got lots of time, time now. We've got lots of time. <laughs> But One I'm... of us has got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing I want to do is introduce some freshly boiled water. So this is around 100 degrees Celsius. Yeah. That's nearly minus 200. We've got a 300 degree temperature difference. Uh -huh. And when they t those two come into contact, it will instantly condense the water uh -huh. into a cloud. Basically, we're going to make a, a nice snow cloud here in the studio. OK, got 25 seconds to do it. Here we go. Now... This is where you might get wet, a little bit wet, but it'll be all right. You don't have to go that far. That's all right. OK. Right, here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa! Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah! It's on my feet! Are you a bit wet? Tad wet. Tad wet. Tad wet. We've made it rain inside. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, my God, Zoe, so well you, done. That's wonderful. You're Thank welcome. you so much.